is your desire to enter a plea of guilty to one count of first degree murder? Yes, sir. A surprise change of plea by Aiden Fucci, the teen charged with the first degree murder of his St. John's County classmate Tristan Bailey. Today was supposed to be the first day of jury selection in St. John's County, but that never happened. Thank you for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Anthony Austin and I'm Heather Crawford. 13 year old Tristan Bailey was stabbed more than 100 times on Mother's Day in 2021. And today her family was there in the courtroom wearing white and aqua shirts. Tristan's favorite color and Fucci gave a brief apology. And I'm sorry for the Bailey family and my family. And that announcement bringing relief to the Bailey family is sparing them from having to go through a trial. Now tonight I spoke with First Coast News legal analyst Janet Johnson, a criminal defense attorney not connected with this case about what happens next. Because Aiden Fucci was just 14 at the time he stabbed Tristan Bailey to death, he is not eligible for the death penalty. It will be up to the judge to determine his sentence. There's a pre-sentence investigation report that the judge will order where Department of Corrections will go through his background, any aggravators or mitigators. They'll talk to his family. They'll talk to Tristan's family. They'll talk to people at the jail potentially, which we know maybe not uh, mitigation for him, but they'll make a recommendation. Judge is not bound by that recommendation. Criminal defense attorney Janet Johnson says the judge can sentence Fucci, now 16 years old, to anywhere from 40 years to life in prison, but he could be released early. The fact that he's a juvenile means that minimum 25 years on a 40 year sentence or even on a life sentence, they'll review it after 25 years. But I would be surprised if he gets out, even if he has a very model career in prison, the odds of him getting out at 25 years, I think would be very, very slim. What are his chances of appeal? Could he appeal whatever sentence the judge um, issues in light of him pleading guilty? He can't, unless the judge gives him an illegal sentence, which Judge Smith isn't going to do. One of the things he told him today is you are now waiving your right to appeal the legality of the sentence. Now, the judge has not yet set the date for the sentencing phase, which is expected to take about two days. It could include expert witnesses on both sides, as well as statements from the Bailey family and Fucci's family. And this afternoon, the Bailey family, known as the Bailey Seven, released a statement about Fucci's guilty plea, thanking the state attorney and law enforcement and the community, saying in part, this is obviously not over yet. There is still a sentencing phase that our family must endure. Make no mistake, the most important things to our family at this time are justice and Tristan's legacy. And St. John's County Sheriff Robert Hardwick also releasing a statement on the guilty plea. It reads in part, quote, Aiden Fucci's decision to enter a guilty plea today is nothing more than a testament to the hard work and dedication of the exceptional men and women of the St. John's County Sheriff's Office. This was an all out agency effort. He also commended the Bailey family saying, quote, their strength and grace throughout this case has been incredible.